Hey Virgo. Um, I'm I'm going to do a reading. Uh, I haven't done a reading like this in a while. I did this reading on my other channel um, a couple of years ago, and I still get a lot of people commenting on that that reading. Um, what does my family feel about me? So I'm going to go and I'm going to send you a link. It's going to be up in one of these corners, and you can look on that to, to get um, the first reading that I did on the other channel. Uh, what does my family think about me? And see if that resonates with you as well as this one. Okay. Spirit, give me messages here for the earthly Virgos. Okay. How does their family feel about them? How does Virgos family feel about them? And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And also take what you need. All right. Virgo, how does your family feel about you? The hermit. Okay. You're you're uh you're in your own you're in your own energy here. Here we have the hermit. Okay. Wondering what's going on with my family and how they feel about me. How do they see me? What do they think about me? Okay. Strength. You're the you're the, the glue that holds your family together, um, whether they realize it or not, whether you realize it or not. We have the hermit, the strength, and the ten of cups. You are, and look, they're toxic as fuck. Some of them are, okay? Some of them are very toxic, okay? Um, but in spite of, um, you, you grew up in a toxic family for some of you, okay? But you're stronger than you give yourself credit for. And even though you have a, even though you're in a toxic family, you grew up in a toxic family, you still have a lot to be thankful for, Virgo. Just know that. What does your family think about you, Virgo? The, the magician. And so we got some, we can have some jealousies here. Okay, we got the fool because you've always been a person, a go-getter, a person who can do a lot um, in your life. You've probably accomplished a lot. You probably have family members who didn't graduate from high school or, or didn't go to college or did something. Some, you achieved at something that they didn't achieve for some of them. And they don't like you for that. OK, they hold it against you. But we have the devil core. We also got the sun. OK, and we have the magician. So you tend to really, really um, kind of like jump over things, you know, like by leaps and bounds, you leaving your family behind, you've left your family behind because of some of the accomplishments, the accomplishments that you have made in your life. And, and you, you've you set a standard, you know, in your life and, and, you know, people can't, you know, get past that, especially if they're having some rough things, some, some rough edges in their life. If they can't accomplish some things, they want to hold, want to blame everybody else for something that they didn't do. Well, that's your fault because Virgo has it like this because I got it like this. You know, it's like everything you touch turns to gold. You know, this is how they see you. I'm not saying this is how your life is. It could be, you know, but they, they see you having such a glow, such a shine in your life. Everything comes to you um, so fluidly, so easy, and, and they have to to they have to to rough it to make things work. Some of them probably have they don't have a, a high education level, and you possibly do, whether you went to high school, college, or whatever, you know. And they're stuck back in the '90s, back in the '80s, back in the '70s on the same shit, different day, okay. And they seen you seen you seen you come so far in your life, like damn, <laughs> you know, what about me? <laughs> okay, what about you? And I'm living my life for me. I'm living my life for my family, for my kids. You know, what the fuck wrong with you? You know, arguing with these people. You can't get along with them. You can't have barbecues with them, Thanksgiving, holidays, or anything with this with, with your family members because it's always an argument. It's already always a disagreement. Somebody, Uncle Charlie, got funky drunk and starting shit, and they still holding on the same shit different day. You know, holding on to stuff. But you've bossed up. You've done what you needed to do in your life. And two, we got the emperor. That could be a father figure that was very, very crude and, and, and mean to the family. I said lewd. It could be lewd. Um, and we have here, you know, you've had to, to curse a lot, of, a lot of your family members out. You know, y'all not getting along. But sometimes y'all haven't said the right things to these people and they walked all over you. But you got to that point to where you stood up for yourself. Yeah, you got that smile on your face. I told you, leave me alone. You know, you finally said what you needed to say to these people, you know, but some of you, 
what's going on with this emperor <clears throat> energy here for you it could be uh you grew up in a household that was like i said very toxic uh you grew up with a narcissistic parent saying mean and hateful things to you it could be a mother too mothers can be narcissistic as well um but you you you've really come a long way in your life bottom of the deck we have sudden wealth okay they possibly think you have more money than you actually got but they don't have to know everything okay um but they see you in in a light that may not even be um true for you sure you you're living a good life a lot of us struggle from day to day doing what it is but they see you and don't think you have any worries especially financially but they're on the outside looking in okay but we got a narcissistic upbringing, a, a toxic family here. Okay. What does your family think about you, Virgo? What does Virgo's family think about them? See, they, they, they think you got money, Virgo. More money than you think. More money than, than they think that you have. Okay? You may not have anything. You're probably struggling too, just like them, but just on a different level. Okay? Because you don't tell everybody your business. What does your family think about you? And we have imprisonment. Okay? Ah, some of them, some of them are in... Are in relationships maybe their their spouses in jail or may, maybe they think that that if you you don't have anybody they think your spouse or your man or your woman is in jail but i'm kind of got a feeling that pathway they're jealous of you if you're in a relationship because their spouse or significant others is is, is in jail so they're jealous of even that everything you do and everything they don't do they get jealous of you okay because they think that, that you're better than them honestly that's what they think see they think that you're better than them. Like Virgo got all this. Virgo got all that and I don't have nothing. You know, Virgo, you know, no struggling or, or they don't think that you're struggling. You could be, you know, but they, they don't they don't know because you all don't have that kind of relationship. You're not close to your family members. I'm hearing you're not close to your sisters and brothers. OK, um, but they see you in a light that's possibly unfair to you, because like I say, they're on the outside looking in. You get it? Virgo, what does your family say? I even got the will of fortune. See, this person, these people really, really, um, I, I just think that they're seeing, they're seeing you. And it may, this may very well be you, you know, successful, making money, putting money in the bank, traveling, successful, living your life and doing your thing. Yes. But this person is definitely holding on to some things and, and they're, they're seeing you thrive. They're seeing you glow. They're seeing you grow. They're seeing you married, you know, happy, not having to struggle about anything. So I just don't think that they're seeing you in a, in a truest light. And you may be all of these things. Don't get me wrong, Virgo, but I think that they're on the outside because they've been so wounded in their life. They've been so hurt in their lives, you know, and they look at you and say, Virgo got it all. Okay. Virgo got it all. They got a marriage or a relationship, a nice home. They're not struggling. They're happy living that good, that good rich lifestyle, you know. They see you as, as being a person who don't have a care in this world, a worry in the world, okay? And you do. We all have worries. We all have complications in our lives, but they don't see you like that, okay? What does your family think about you, Virgo? What does Virgo's family think about them? They don't, they don't see your struggles. If you're going through some shit, they don't see them, okay? Um, we have here attraction and flirting and dating, and they they are possibly trying to date somebody, okay? But th this their their person is running from them, so they think that you're in a relationship. They're gonna have to try hard. They get a man, they get a woman, and and I have they say, well, I have to to chase after this this person, or, or I can't get a good man or a good woman to save my life. And when I do, they run from me, or they treat me wrong. I can never be happy in a relationship. So this person think is thinking that you're in in paradise, that you're living a, a, a good life, Virgo. Happiness, expansion, joy, you know, enjoying the relationship that you're in. But you probably don't have any of this shit, okay? But they think that you do, okay? Out of um, out of envy. Virgo, what does your family members think about you? What does your family member think about you, Virgo? What does your family members think about you, Virgo? 
uh, time to make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Okay. They don't know how to deal with their challenges. They, they, like I said, they don't think that you worry that you worry or have any problems in your life. They want to be actually want to be like you. You know, they probably even call you at some point and say, "Well, can you do this or make a suggestion or how do I do that or how do I bake a fucking cheesecake or something?" You know, it's like sometimes no matter how much envy they have for you, no matter how many problems they have with you or what it, they have said to you negatively, they still call you from time to time. Can you give me advice on this? Or how do you do this? Or how do I do that? How do I apply for a FAFSA or something like that? You know, um, how do I apply for food stamps or how do I apply for like, a, um, what is it? Financial aid, okay, something, you know, they, no matter what it is, you know, they, they still tend to ask you for your help because they know that you know what the hell you're talking about, Virgo, okay? Things are looking up the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. Uh, so this person needs to talk to you, okay? They're needing to ask some sort of advice, but honestly, the things are looking up for your person, you know? They may be going on a trip or, or some sort of endeavor, okay? It's time for a positive change in their life. They don't know their own strength. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. So your person, is, I'm hearing in my head, is quite fortunate. I will be quite fortunate. Your family member here, uh, they can't see for looking, that through all the murky darkness that they have experienced in their life, you all possibly, like I said, grew up in a narcissistic home. I'm hearing a, nar a narcissistic environment. And it was probably something even narcissistic about the church that, that some of you all were in. That's what I'm hearing. It's not for everybody. But, yeah, your, your person, your family member looks at you in a way that, that that's out of envy because they see a bright light. But we've all had our issues. Okay? We've all had our issues. But uh, your family... And I, I won't, you know, I don't want to say, Virgo, that they put you on a pedestal, but they do, okay, uh, out of, purely out of envy, okay? And, and like I said, you may be going through some things that they don't even know about it because y'all probably don't talk on a level like that. Sees well planning a temporary pause and action unnecessary worry. So if you're worried about something, don't. There's no need for worrying. See, you worry too much. Your family thinks that you the shit, the bomb diggity diggity. They think so highly of you and that's okay. But you got your shit you going through too. They just don't know it. They think that everything is okay. Bomb diggity dog in your life. But some of you, it's not. You worry too damn much. Unnecessary worry. I'm telling you, your family thinks the world, they think the world of you, though they may not say it. Though they may not say it. They think the world of you, okay? They honor you. Um, behind your back you know i would say envy but no it's not it is envy but um this family your family member this family member whoever it may be it be maybe all of them because you grew up in a toxic household they just see you in a way that you don't see yourself that's what i think it is Virgo. okay they see you in a way you don't see yourself Okay, so yeah, this person may reach out to you out of out of need to talk to you and ask your advice about something that's going to happen to them or needs to happen in their life. But don't, because I, I already told you they, they definitely think highly of you, but they may not say it to you, to your face. Um, but definitely you have some regrets about your childhood, about how you grew up, about the narcissistic things that was taking place in your life when you were younger, when you were coming up. You got rid of that, that shit. You don't want to deal with it anymore. And it shows. But at the same time, they're just asking for your advice, Virgo. Final message. How your family feels about you, Virgo. What does your family think about you? Unexpected income. Unexpected income. Um, honestly, I think this person is, is going to have a, a court ca a settlement or something coming in or, or ask your advice. Well, how can I apply for this or how can I sue this person or or do this court thing? And because I know you've done it before. You've been through it before. How do I do that? OK. And they're concerned um, about they have some concerns going on in their life. And this concern is coming like I need to talk to somebody. Who can I talk to? I got to call Virgo. OK. I got to call Virgo about this money situation and figure out what I can do. Okay? And two, somebody they possibly have known, maybe a marriage or something uh, is over with, and they just want to know how, how they can go about suing somebody. Okay. And we got a thief. 
a false person. Somebody stole something from them or maybe they were accused of doing something they didn't do at work and they want to ask your, ask your opinion so they can sue the people they work for because they, they got lied on and it wasn't their fault or something wasn't their fault. Some kind of court case or court battle, but your family thinks highly of you. Okay. Now that the matriarch or patriarch has died in the family, whoever raised you all, the narcissistic person, that's the center around all of your mess is no longer here. Y'all have not talked to, have not spoken to each other in a while, but this person wants to come in and ask you some advice, but secretly, this person thinks highly of you. They may not have shown it. They may not say it to you, but they think very highly of you, Virgo. You are the one that, do, that doesn't think highly of yourself right now because you're worried too damn much. All right. 